So tonight we've come to a location that has got a bit of a reputation at the moment. Now, we had a message from one of our followers, one of our fans, asking for us to check out a location that is dubbed the Amityville, Amityville House, I believe, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the Amityville House. I mean, with that title, you know, we had to check it out. Um, but I've seen nothing on it, you know, I haven't... Okay, I'm gonna wait for that plane to go. Well, you reckon you'll be able to pick that up? I don't. You won't be able to pick it up, will you? Okay, let's start that again. Okay. So tonight, guys, we have turned up it's to... Oh, right, it's got louder. Oh, no. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Okay. So tonight, guys, we have turned up to a location. What's up? Just got loud. <laughs> That's worse. Fucking drag car. Tonight we've turned up to a noisy <laughs> location. Yeah, Can't yeah. get anything done. It's real bad. Okay. So tonight, guys, we've turned up to a location that is dubbed the Amityville House. I mean, what, what a name to title the house. Absolutely incredible. Considering Amityville's in America, but the UK's got its own version. Anyway, we was messaged by one of our, probably one of our long time followers, uh, Mr. DJ Moss. And he was like, Ouija Brothers guys, you've got to go and check out this location. It's, a lot of other teams are going in there and they're getting activity all the time. It's popping. He said, you've got to go in there and just show if there's anything really in there. So I was like, all right, then I don't know. I haven't seen anything out, um, about this location. I've seen no other videos. I've seen no teams. I've seen nothing. But if, if someone's messaged us and said, you've got to check it out because it's active. I mean, the, the, you know, we've got to come and do it. Yeah. So I got in contact with um, Paul from Galston Trent and I asked him if he knew anything about the history or the location that's dubbed the Amityville House. And thank God he did, he's actually done a lot of research on this place. He's actually investigated this location four times. So, um, yeah, we're gonna pass it over to Paul and he's gonna tell us exactly um, the history on this location. So when was the first time, you know, you heard about this place, Paul? So it was around about a year and a half ago. Um, there was a lot of buzz surrounding the place. So we decided to do a little bit of digging on it. Uh, it, it just interested me. I thought I'd do a bit of research because of what I'd heard about the place. And in doing so, I found out about a murder. Um, it's pretty terrible, to be fair. This guy was tortured for three hours um, by four men. Uh, I believe it to be over a £20,000 drug debt. It, and I'm not going to go into too much detail because it is very, very grim. Yeah. But I'll just, you know, I'll keep it low key. Basically, they tied this guy up in uh, one of the barns, uh, brought his family in also to watch his daughter that was age 25 at the time and his son age 21, and also his wife. And they sat there and watched as they um, hung him over a barrel of acid, um, lit a bin bag over his head that obviously melted over him. There was just, it was so bad. Uh, the pathologist at the time, well after, uh, he actually said that it was so bad that his body had gone through so much trauma that he actually thought he died in a car crash. It was so, so bad, so severe. Yeah, it sounds awful, I guess. It was terrible. Um, so, after finding this out, I dug a little bit deeper to find out more about it and the, you know, the exact location. Yeah. Um, only to find out that this was never the place. This, it didn't take place here. So, so the murder didn't happen in this location? No, it didn't. It's happened, a, you know, it's a five minute drive up the road. Five minutes? Five minutes drive up the road. Yeah. Yeah. So th this house has got the title of the Amateurville house because of a murder that happened five minutes up the road? I believe so, I believe so. So that basically ruins a lot of the investigation. Just go home. <laughs> you know what Don't I mean? Don't watch any more, guys. I'm here to tell you, it ain't worth it. There, yeah. There's no, there's nothing here. So there's actually no story. There's <laughs> nothing connected. If the real place is five minutes down the road. Now you have actually investigated this place a couple of times, haven't you? Four times. Yep. Yeah. And um, I've been here twice alone. Uh, once in the day, once at night. 
and twice with the mock and have, we've never had anything to, and in fact we didn't even put the videos out buckle in guys we are in for a ride <laughs> Griff's um, on his way home <laughs> we're, in, we're in for a ride but yeah I haven't seen anything from I'll inside see you back the place. The, uh, I, mean, I mean, Paul knows how to... I'll see you back at the vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone, Griff's gone. So, from his personal experience, nothing. Um, the history, nothing. But it doesn't matter. We're going to go in there. We're going to get all the equipment. We're still going to do an investigation. So here it is, the, the infamous, we're just going to call it the Amityville House, yeah. or have you got another title you want to call it? The Farmhouse. The Farmhouse. <laughs> <laughs> he don't know how to get these clicks or views, does he, Paul? <laughs> got no imagination. Let's just go with Amityville, because that's what people call it. Yeah. So we'll roll with it. Yeah. And here it is, it looks quite, um, I mean, to be fair, it does look quite cool, like hidden in the, you know, in the woods, I say the woods, the bushes. It does look the part. Yeah, it does look cool. Um, but I've got no faith in him. I mean, as you can see, I mean, all the windows are already bl uh, blasted out, yeah. aren't they? The only issue is, as well, Steer is the main road that it's on. Yeah, you can... There's a lot of noise yeah. pollution, isn't there? So Griff's hanging back a bit at the moment. He's a bit too afraid to step foot inside this location. Yeah, I do want to say that I haven't seen anything on this house. So I don't know what people are claiming or what kind of activity they've witnessed, which I think is quite a good thing to be fair, because that means, you know, we've, you know, I've got no knowledge or preconception of, oh, you know, listening out for this or listening out for that. Just going in here raw, blind, and hoping for the best. To be fair, I mean, to be fair, I hope it is haunted and we get some amazing activity, because that's why we, why we do this. To be fair, ain't it? Exactly, mate. Yeah. All the time. Obviously, we've got now Mark. He's on, uh, he's on holiday. Oh god. It's already got that mankiness. Queasy rivers. I mean it, it it's it's not in a good condition, is it? No, it's not, mate. Oh there's there's oh, there's birds beard, in there? Mate, beard, oh yeah. shit. Unless they're dead, I think they're dead. No, they're not, mate. They're alive. It's moving. Is it moving? Oh, I don't want to blind it. Oh, you could get a, you could get a wig. Yeah, it is. I've seen it blink. Oh, yeah, it that, that's a baby. But, it is, yeah. But I think that one's dead all day. It's got his beak open in there. Is it breathing or what? Let me have a look. So yeah, things like that could be causing a lot of noise, noise as well, yeah. couldn't it? So that they've got like. That could they could just attack us. Oh yeah, because we're right by the nest, and if that's babies. Well, let's 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 head on. Well, now we're in the place. It's going to do it anyway. Yeah, we're just making our way around the house. I've had to put this mask on because there's a there's a lot of debris, um, and I'm sick and tired of coming into these locations and, and getting sick and being ill for two, three days. I mean, all you can see is just my eyes. I look like a ninja, don't I? <laughs> Fucking ninja. Ninja. Ninja warrior. You could actually do that, couldn't you? Yeah. Go on, ninja warrior. I so, the idea of this walkthrough is that you obviously, you know, see it as we see it. So, you and, uh, and the Ouija Rivers and Paul from Ghosts on Trent are basically, well not Ghosts on Trent, seeing it for the first time because Paul's already been here four times. So he already knows what it's like. What location would you say was the best? Well, you've got nothing. So I suppose it doesn't matter where we kind of call out or investigate, is there? Oh, there's a bird there no. as well. No, no, not, not for me, not for me. No. There's a bird over here as well. Yeah, just above the window. Oh, oh yeah. Man, there must be loads. Well, they're, they're taking over, aren't they? Yeah. It's probably panicking and everything. It's a shame, really. It yeah. is, isn't it? So, as I was saying earlier, I wonder if 
a lot of the things that people have heard are just birds. It's a possibility. Because looks like there was, there's a bird up there. There's a bird in there. No, there's two birds in there. There's two birds. Yeah, there's two. Two in there. That's a big bird in there. You got the contamination coming from the road. Ah, oh, fuck it. Just leave. <laughs> That's what he's saying, guys. Let's just go. So, we're gonna have a lot of contamination here tonight. We're right next to um. Main road. Dual carriage. A dual carriage. No, actually, it's not. Is it dual? Yeah, it's a dual carriage. It's got a dual. There's a barrier in the middle. Yeah. So it's a dual car. Hold on, now on my um, speed awareness. Don't tell people you're a criminal. Because <laughs> it's a criminal. Also, as well, it's surprising what vibrations from a main road oh, yeah. can cause to happen to a derelict building, like creaking sounds and even yeah. like equipment. If you were to use cat balls or something in here, oh, the vibrations gonna... would send them crazy. Yeah, yeah, it will die. I mean, you can feel the power from a lorry. Exactly. Going yeah. past. Well, who's going up first? I'll go first, maybe. Go on. Yeah. I mean, you just see that he's safe, is he? He just is not safe or good at all. And people whinge about when it's going to historical paid locations. <laughs> Mental. You are allowed. Don't go there to con. It's don't. safe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's too safe. You, you'll survive. We don't want that. We want to see you kill yourself. Oh, man. I mean, it could be it's structurally warm up here now. Could be structurally safe, but it's all. Do you know? It's always been warm here. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's in the loft, the ain't it? Yeah. It's the loft. Oh, there's a mattress in there. I wouldn't sit on that. Why not? Have you seen it? Some people would more, do more than sit on it. A rat's probably pissed on it. The same person probably has. And they'd still use it. Oh! I like that. God, it is warm, ain't it? Yeah. Very. And here, here's me, because me, me and Griff uh, were wrapped all up because last time we investigated a. Uh, a lovely abandoned place. We've got bit to hell. It's dusty. It's dirty. It's gammy, clammy. Gammy and clammy. I mean, I, I might call that my kids. I mean, thank God I can't smell. Come here, gammy and <laughs> clammy. Me too, Dad. Yeah. What well, can you smell, Paul? Bird Just shit. mold, man. Bird shit. Another rat-infested piece of bird shit. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Can't stay in here for long. Cheers, Paul. <laughs> yeah, cheers for bringing us here, Paul. We take you to the skirry. Do you bring us here? I oh, know. Sorry. Is, is that fair? Okay. It is bad, ain't it? It's just warm as well in there. Okay. Do you know what it's like in there? It sort of like burns your throat. It's mold, like, the, that is. like the damp mold, yes. Yeah. It is really, but well, saying that, I can't really smell it. I'm just really, I'm sweating my tits off. Yeah. But I know, I know where that smell is because we've we've been in them places before, haven't we? Just, done enough. We've done enough of them. Done that. enough of them. Yeah. And uh, it's like kind of like as soon as you can taste it, you know that it's on you. Yeah. I'm, I'm surprised we ain't dead. If I'm honest, <laughs> not from just going in there, but from all the stuff we've done. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah. So yeah, we just we're just having a bit of a breather and we'll go we'll go back in there in a sec. Man, look at the tan on my face. <laughs> I've got a right tan as well. Red. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Stay. <laughs> I don't understand what's going on. I'll have to I'll check the settings. But it's on automatic, so it should just be doing itself. Tell me. See, you're pretty red on my camera though. That's okay. all I think it is, is the light. Oh, let's turn the light off then. See what happens. It's just high blood pressure. It's the camera. The camera never lies. <laughs> Saying that, I you mean, know, I look. I'm, I'm you orange. look red from there. I'm like Hulk Hogan. Just pink, eh? Like a pig. <laughs> <laughs> so we're all going to night vision in a second. It'll be black and white. So 
oh yeah, we have just come back into the building. It's a hot day. Um, we've set up the, the ghost tube apps up on the fireplace. It did just come through saying hello. And Paul has set up a locked off camera at the bottom of the stairs that's facing the, the mail room. So if it's gonna trigger, hopefully, we will be able to see if anything goes close to it or around it. Um, and we're gonna start the investigation in one of the living rooms downstairs. So yeah, we're just gonna call out and hopefully something comes towards us and we capture some kind of uh, paranormal activity. We're gonna start the investigation now. Any spirits that are listening, anybody that's here but can't be seen, whatever's, as Steve likes to call them, if you could come forward, come towards us, and we're gonna introduce ourselves to you. My name's Jason slash Griff. My name is Stephen. My name's Paul. And we're not here to hurt you in any way. We're just here to communicate. Now, I know it's gonna be a little bit hard tonight for you to be able to communicate with us with all the road traffic and all the road noise. So you're gonna to have to use our energy as well as your own to knock on something, to bang on something really loud. Something that's definitive. Something that leaves no questions. There's plenty of objects on the floor, cans, bottles, even a door. Is there any chance you could connect with one of these? Don't leave me. We're not gonna leave you. We've just started. Can you connect with any of these items that are on the floor? We've also got a mail room at the bottom of the stairs and a camera looking up the stairs. If there's any way that you could communicate with us, any way of showing us that you can hear us, come forward now. Come towards all these bright lights. They're not here to hurt you in any way. Can you hear me? Help. If that's you asking for help, if you are asking for help, is there any chance that you could come into this room? Come right by us. Go by Paul. He's been here four times. Go by Paul. Tap him on the shoulder. Tell him you need your help. I'd love to see something just walk down the corridor towards you. It'd be great, wouldn't it? Some people have, apparently. In here? Well, I don't know, I'm just presuming. Oh. More than likely. I'm just unlucky though, aren't I? I mean, it's got that look for it, doesn't it? It has. It's a gold mine again, eh? Can you remember me? Have you seen me in here before? I've been here multiple times. The last time I came here, I was with my friend Mark. So if you are here and you can remember me, can you please make a noise or any other sound? Uh, noise or any other sound? Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't make sense, does it? <laughs> I was going You're talking to, like, talking to nothing? Talking to nothing. That's the problem. That's the problem. Yeah. None of it makes sense. Don't matter. There's been so many teams, so many people that have been in this house and claim to have witnessed paranormal activity. And as of yet, I haven't witnessed anything. Do you not like me? Or 
Or do I have to believe more for you to do something? It's funny that it's because a lot of people say that, like, oh, it's because, it's because we don't believe enough. But I don't think, a, sh a short recap, me and Griff believe in the paranormal massively. And Paul's had an incredible experience and we all believe in the paranormal. Yep. Um, but we've also, after doing this for so many years, we also realise how rare extremely it rare it is to capture something like, something remotely interesting. Um, so a lot of people will say, oh, you're, just, you're so negative, you're so shut off. We believe, you know, we do believe in the paranormal or we wouldn't be doing this kind of stuff. So sorry for cutting exactly. you off. No, no, I'm, you're I'm right. I'm just wanting right, to tell people that. And the way I feel about it is that, yes, I've had an experience and it was an incredible experience. Yeah. Um, but since I've been searching for it, I've not found it. Yeah. So then I begin to question what I did get before. Yeah. We're not going to leave you. We're here to talk. Now there's a the device on the stairs. It's called a Melrem. If you go close to it, it will set it off. Could you let us know that you're here with us by going to the Melrem or using one of these devices here? Imagine. <laughs> I'm flying over you. Yeah. Making all the noise. Yeah, I can't win. Bold. Old, yeah. Old. Who's old? Are you old or is this house old? House old. House old? Old house. Oh. It's happened. There's no point in me saying anything because my eyes are fucked. Why, why I saw like a black. None of us are on here. But it's like the, um, do you know the light of the mail room disappeared for a second and there was like a black. Well, we've got a camera on it so we can have a look. Yeah. But your eyes are going through a change, aren't they? <laughs> Mate, they've been going through more than a change. <laughs> have you done your eye exercises? Yeah, my fucking knob, no. <laughs> Of course I do. <laughs> what is he laughing for? Yeah. There is eye exercises. I've been putting cucumbers on my eyes. Oh. I've been putting. <laughs> this um, is what you need to live stream. I've been putting cotton um, swabs and just well cotton makeup masks and putting them on the eyes with um, warm water for eye care. I've been doing everything, but my eyesight's just it's it's blurry, but I can still see everything. It's weird. Yeah. I've got 20-20 vision, you wouldn't believe it. Which I have actually got 20-20 vision. Yeah. 20-20 vision with glaucoma. <laughs> I wonder if there's any more teens that have actually stood in here having a conversation about uh, eye exercises and cucumbers on eyes. Definitely. Yeah, well if that don't get a ghost out, nothing will. <laughs> you know what I mean? Honestly, Spirit, there's, we're, not, we're here to just have a conversation. As you can tell by we're just having a conversation. If you feel the need to join in with us at any time, just join in. They do say though that um, if you talk amongst yourselves in a location, then well, that's what we're doing all the while. You know, <laughs> if there is a spirit there, then you know it'll try to get your attention. Yeah. I mean, that's what that's what they say. And sometimes, like we've witnessed that ourselves, really. Like we've had noises and stuff when. Myself and Mark have just been talking amongst ourselves yeah. and something's happened. I'm sure you guys have had that. Yeah, yeah all, all these drives are fucking he's favorite. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. These drives are favorite for that. Well, look what happened when we was in that care home when he was started saying the I love you stuff. We yeah. were just walking around, just talking. talking. And yeah. then he kicked off, didn't he? Yeah. 
Oh, we'd love another moment like that, Spirit. That was one investigation that made me, you know, kind of fall back in love with the paranormal. If he was paranormal or not, I don't know, but he made me fall back in love with how exciting and how amazing that was. And how good it can be. Yeah. We would love another moment like that. Can this place deliver that kind of energy, that adrenaline rush that we, we've searched up and down the country for? Could you give us a sign right now, please? That's a bird singing. I don't, I don't think this is the episode where you got to tell them what it is. I have to. I have to. <laughs> They'll fucking pretty much guess. You just have to confirm got, it because got, there is people that, that hear different... Yeah, yeah. I've got thoughts of a car just coming straight through the corner. Yeah. Of this <laughs> so, yeah. Or the wagon. Yeah, just something. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be good. That'd be the end of the way, do you remember? If we was in the corner and we, and we survived, you imagine the shock. Yeah. Shit. Just get the shot. <laughs> spin round. <laughs> the driver coming out the window. Yeah. Head in pieces. All right, calm down. <laughs> okay, we're all on a separate floor. If you could, could you go to whichever person that you like, or even dislike, doesn't matter. Could you go towards one of us? Could you touch us? Could you talk? Could you give us a message? Give us any kind of sign that you're here with us. We've got enough cameras, we'll be able to capture it all. Do not worry about that. Paul's on the top, um, on the top floor. My name is Stephen, I'm on the middle floor, and Griff's on the bottom floor. Could you copy this? Copy this then. It said I'm close about six times. Is it all on the same phone? I believe so. I'll have a check. I mean, I was in the other room, but these birds do make like a shuffling noise. If people had been there and gone, oh, did you hear that shuffling? Yeah. Um, they, they do make like a shuffling noise going... Ch -ch 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 -ch. So See, we, I'm, I'm hearing that as well, Steve, up here. But the, the do you know shuffling. where it's coming from? It's um, when there's a slight breeze. Do you see the branches coming through this window? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They're sort of rubbing against this wood. Okay, so... Like the frame. So Paul is debunking the noise where the um, like the ivory or the tree or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And Griff can hear like the birds shuffling as well. So again, we can debunk those noises. It said I'm close five times on your phone only. Okay. And then on mine it says don't leave me. Yeah, I'm sorry guys for being such a downer on this one and just debunking all the noises. But anyone who's watched the um, Ouija Brothers and Ghosts on Trent for years. Or even recently, you know, that you know, this is how, this is how we do it. Um, we're not here to like kind of sugarcoat it or make out something is what it isn't. If we hear something and if we can explain it, that's what we're going to do. A lot of the noises that we've heard tonight are easily explainable. noticed as well Steve. I don't know if you've noticed whilst we're in study but the odd headlight comes through yeah yeah I've noticed it's a shame really where it's situated isn't it yeah if it was further back where the barns are yeah it'd be perfect you, you know it'd be a lot it'd be a lot better yes I can hear it is it the noise from the traffic 
What is it you want me to hear? I seem to hear a rumbling again. Like a thumping through the ears. You hear that? Yeah, yeah. Can you hear that ball? Like banging? It's like a subwoofer pounding. Yeah, it could be. What is it you want me to hear? We know that the only thing we know about this place is that it used to be a milk farm. You hear that? Yeah, yeah. Like banging. What is it you want me to hear? See, did you hear a rumbling again? Like a thumping through the air. Yeah, there he was. Listen. You hear that? Yeah, yeah. Can you hear that ball? Bang you. What is it you want me to hear? See, did you hear we know that the only thing we know about this place is that it air. used to be a milk farm. You hear that? Yeah, yeah. Can you hear that ball? Like banging. That subwoofer was quite... Like the subwoofer booming, banging noise. Yeah, yeah, it was really good. Do you think he was from a car? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Because he was, he was boom, boom. Yeah, boom, boom, boom. Sort of like a rhythm to it, like. Yeah, a little bit. <clears throat> So what do you reckon? You reckon you got anything upstairs or? Um, well, apart from the noises that Paul kind of debunked, because he could hear like some like rattling noise um, from the bushes coming through the window. Okay. Um, like the ivory or the. Well, literally, branches. if you just go standing there, if we you all go standing the there, you can hear them shuffling and stuff, and you can hear them going. <laughs> like it's literally them just to your left. Now, and just turn all your lights off, and listen. That's it. That's the all birds. the activity we need. <laughs> Are the birds satanic? <laughs>